Hello, it's Alicia Candler, and this week I am making for you Please Lord Forgive Me Pecan Encrusted Sweet Potato Croquettes with Sage and Bacon. Now the reason they got their name is I've been thinking all weekend about a recipe. What could I come up with for this week? And the thinking unfortunately did not stop when I got to church on Sunday morning. And I must confess that throughout the entire service, I was trying to drum up a very unique and special recipe. I had been looking at the recipes from the previous weeks, and I wanted to do something that I had not seen before. So by the time the end of the singing uh, happened, I had this revelation of what it was going to be, and it was going to be some sort of sweet potato croquette. Uh, I love regular potato croquettes and I wanted to develop a sweet potato one. So when the preacher got up to start preaching, I began developing this recipe in my mind, and I have to say that by the end of the sermon, I had a complete recipe thought out, but have no clue what the preacher said. So with that being said, I want to show you what this recipe is. I started with two sweet potatoes, and these were pre-washed and wrapped in my supermarket microwave ready. So I nuked them for 10 minutes. And then we have six ounces of cream cheese, one egg yolk, one tablespoon of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of crushed black pepper. We have a quarter cup of fresh sage, and we have five strips of bacon that we've crumbled. Now the breading is the really neat part. This is Three quarters cup of panko breadcrumbs mixed with three quarters cup of green pecans. It's kind of a pecan casserole meets a uh, french fried sweet potato. So we're going to just start by cutting open our cooked sweet potato. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my cream cheese first because I want the warmth of that sweet potato to fall on top of that and that will help um, get the melting process started. So just spoon all that yummy sweet potato goodness out. It's really a time saver to, to buy these um, pre-washed, uh, ready-to-go sweet potatoes because it's just so convenient to be able to pop them in the microwave. I'm going to get all that skin out there. Don't want any skins in this one. Just want all that wonderful sweet potato, sweet potato flesh. I didn't used to like sweet potatoes, but as I've grown and my taste have matured, I really grew to love them. And they're so versatile. You can make these you know, in desserts. You can use them in savory dishes as well. This dish is great because it is definitely savory and it's used as a side dish, but it does have a little sweet note to it. Okay, so we're just going to mash that all together. You know I do really feel guilty about not paying attention in church. I guess the worst part is I spent the rest of the Sabbath at home practicing this recipe to fine tune it and get the exact measurements right. So I really was a bad girl this Sunday. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in our egg yolk. And that's just going to keep this uh, together. When we make our little croquettes, we don't want them flattening out and turning to mush in the oven. So that egg yolk is really going to help hold this together. Okay, in goes our brown sugar and our salt. And our black pepper. Incorporate all that in together. This makes about 
20 to 25 croquettes about one inch in diameter. So obviously if you need more than that, feel free to double the recipe. And then we're just going to add in our sage and our bacon. The smokiness of the bacon with the sage and the sweet potato, it was better than I even imagined it would be. It just had the best marriage of flavors. Okay, so that's our mixture. And I am going to use a melon baller. And again, this is not a stiff mixture. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in. And then we're going to gently just coat. And then as you coat it and it gets the crumbs on it, you're able to handle it. Very nice. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with me making all 25. I'm going to cut away, and when we come back, I'll have them all ready for the next step. Okay, so here they are. I've got 20 sweet potato croquettes. And I chose to use a baking stone just because I love to use this for, for baking. It gives things a nice crust. And you don't really have to pre-grease it because if you've used it a lot, you know it's already got the natural oils in there. I've got a fourth a cup of melted butter, and I'm just going to drizzle over the top of each of these. And then we're going to bake them in a 350-degree oven for 30 minutes or until golden brown. Okay. okay, so our croquettes are out of the oven and they're nice golden brown. And this is side dish week, so they are considered a side dish. So I wanted to show you what I paired them with. I chose a smoky grilled barbecue chicken breast. As we all know, poultry goes very well with sweet potatoes and with the sage. And the barbecue will go very nicely with the bacon that we incorporated in there, so we want it to all tie together. And then, as you recall, we used five strips of bacon in our croquettes. So I had some luscious bacon drippings left over, so I went ahead and used that to saute some spinach. We'll start with four. These are really about bite size, so you can always come back for more if you need. So that's what they look like on the inside. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Well, ladies, I'm not sure if I sinned in church this weekend or not. This may have just been a divine intervention. These are heavenly. I think the Lord's going to forgive me. <laughs> 